I'm Bishop. And I'm Dr. Steph. And thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Our Life, Our, our Journey, Journey, Our, our Journey. Truth. We're so happy to have you connected. And listen, we are appreciative of all of you that are sending all the love this way, yeah, letting us know that this channel you. is blessing you. Man, it just inspires us to keep going, yeah, right? absolutely. And uh, we're just committed to doing that every single week to be a blessing to you. We want to stay connected. If this is your first time, we'd love to hear how you heard about us and, and uh, we'd love to connect with you. Listen, follow my wife on Instagram right there at Dr. Steph Walker. Follow me at Joseph Walker 3. Hey, if you could be a resource, we'd love to be that. Also, we want to make sure you like, comment, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Make sure you do that, man. It's so important that you do that. Stay connected with us. And uh, we're excited. This episode is going to be really unique because you know, we're really going to talk about, you know, how well we know each other. We're going to play a game. You know, I think, let me tell you why it's important. Because <laughs> I think marriage relationships sometimes can fall into a routine of yeah. just the monotony of yeah. going and working and coming home, paying the bills, and then going to bed. You got to passing in the night. Yeah, <laughs> you got to add some spice. You got to add some variety. Yeah. And so... While we're doing this, we want to really encourage you to do a couple of these. One, figure out creative ways in your relationship mm -hmm. where you can play games, have fun, those things that help you really understand how well you know each other. Right, do something different. Yeah, and then secondly, maybe you want to join along with us in this. Maybe you could participate while we're doing it. Maybe you can guess what the answer is going to be. We're going to do two rounds, right? The first mm -hmm. round will be really, really fun. We'll have some fun stuff. Second round, we'll go a little deeper, and that's some, uh, some very deep questions to find out you know, some things about each other. So, you ready to do this? Let's go. I'm on my board. Let's do it. No da, cheating. Da, da, da. No cheating. Don't I'm going to turn this way. Eh? <laughs> See? See? Already. Already. See? That's what happens, right? Already. All right. So, we're going to get these questions. Let me get my pen first. I want to make sure I'm right. Got your pen? I got my pen. Got to have a good pen. A good, you know. Mm. All right. Let me get it together. All right. All right. Let's get these questions from my studio audience. <laughs> You gotta turn it. One, two, three. Yeah! yeah. Camel Brown. I said Camel Brown. He said Tan, tan Brown. Brown. I said yeah. and Black. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Ooh, good job. Yes, what's <laughs> up? See? You got to know these women if you won't marry them. <laughs> All right. One, two, ready, go. A lawyer. Yeah, I lawyer. Said the black mat the lock. Black mat lock. That's, that's that. I want y'all. I really did want to be the black mat lock. I really did. I've, man, I, I think I still play lawyer in real life, don't I? You try. <laughs> <laughs> My nerdy butt be reading books, yeah. tort books and stuff. Yeah. So crazy. Think y'all know? One, two, three. I'm like, you better get this right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought that's right. <laughs> Cleveland, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> All right. Most people don't realize that. I yeah. thought I was talking about LA, but she I was grew actually up in born LA. in uh, Cleveland. Born in Cleveland. Yeah. We stayed there for six months and then moved to uh, back to LA. I was the only one in, of all the kids in my family that were born that was born in Cleveland. And that explains it, right? Why wow, she's so amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good twist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No looking. <laughs> All right, ready? She got. Oh, I got it right. I got it right, and she blew it. Oh my gosh! She's no, thinking so, about our baby's birthday. Uh, well, that, but also May May ninth is Giovanni's birthday, but also May 9th is the day that we met and spoke on the phone for the first time. So, in my defense. And it's also the day that I graduated from Vanderbilt. But, watch this, uh, watch this, watch this, <laughs> watch this. Dude, <laughs> dude, listen. But it was if okay. I had yeah. gotten that wrong. He would be in a doghouse. Off the set, over, game's over. See what I mean? <laughs> so let's give me some grace if I yes. miss one. Yes, oh yes, my yes, God. He's, good. he's right. Yeah, it's the 23rd. But it was the day that we met. Yeah. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> Greece, yeah. I mean, there was one coming, a close second, but I think yeah. that put it over the top. But go ahead and tell the first second. It's Italy, right? Italy. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. But Greece, Italy was amazing, but Greece, but Greece, Greece was like it over the top. whole other... Over the top, yeah, yeah, over yeah. the top, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ready? 
One, two, three. What would you say? Snacks, Number one would book, be snack. iPad. So yeah, I said my cell phone, Which is that? a first aid kit, yeah. and a giant ice chest full of food. Well, yeah. food, 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 food. I almost put books number one. Yeah, yeah you yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Can, so you're close, yeah. yeah. Right. I'll give you two points. Two points, okay. That was a good one. That was so electronics, I, yeah, cell phone, same Yeah, thing. yeah, where you get power from, I don't know, but um, you sure take okay. it. That's okay, you just better make sure it's charged. <laughs> <laughs> know it. I just, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, she knows it too. I know she, she uh, it, you have to go way back and think about it. She knows it. No, stop. Be, stop talking. Okay, I'm Let trying to encourage just, you. I'm trying to give you a... I can't think okay. if you're talking. Of all time. Right? Okay, okay hold on. I, shh, 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 shh. Um, so I'm going to describe the movie because I can't think of the name. Okay. But it, oh, I know. Okay, I hope I'm right. One, two, three. Celebration of life. She got Harlem Nights. What's that? So, oh my I gosh. I that movie. You Where have, I from? told you, it's an old school movie about the girl who had a mother and she was ashamed of her mother and her mother died. And she, she was, it's First a, of all, can I tell you something? We've died. been married for 15 years and I have never heard this story about a movie of a mama who died and saying? a child who's ashamed. She talks saying? about Harlem Nights all the time. I love Harlem Nights. It's my around, second It's my like second favorite movie, Harlem Nights. His 50th Nights. birthday party Harlem Nights was my was second. Harlem Nights But Celebration of Life is a tearjerker. It is the movie that I've shared with her. She just forgot because she's got amnesia. I, but I have I, an excellent memory. That's why you remember how much. That's why I went. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like our wedding. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. All right. So we're going to go now to a little deeper. Let's put these up. We're going we're gonna to ask some real questions. They want to ask us some questions okay. out there. And so that was good. That was fun. That was that fun. That was fun. Hope you guys like, enjoy. <laughs> That's what we do, right? You got to learn. Hope you learn some things about us, right? And uh, maybe this will be uh, something we can kind of turn it up a notch. Go okay. a little deeper. So let's, for my studio audience, let's hear from you. My first impression Wait, is, so time out. Because there were two first impressions because okay. we met first over the phone. And then we met a month later, finally in person. Can we do both? Then? Sure. My first impression was uh, that this woman is, uh, I thought she was the female version of me intellectually and socially and spiritually. Like we had so much in common, I felt that. That was my first impression. When I met her uh, in person, my first impression was, Wow! I knew what Adam must have felt when he saw Eve. I was like, whoa! I felt like I hit the lottery. I sure did. Good answer, honey. Good answer. <laughs> so my first impression was, and then you have to remember, like, I told my pastor I didn't want to, yeah, like, go on a blind date with him because he was a pastor, and I was like, no, thank you. But I agreed to allow him to give him my number. And my first impression just with our first conversation was, wow, like, he's really cool, down to earth, he's funny. You know, maybe I kind of, you know, jumped to judgment. And probably within that first, you know, couple, actually like within two weeks, I mean, very similar to what he was saying, like we were um, finishing each other's sentences, even though we'd only known each other for a short period of time. We were like kindred spirits, like our values were the same, our thoughts were the same, um, like what we wanted out of life, or yeah. our goals, our trajectory, our you know, desires were identical. Um, and when we met in person, he was the first person that I've ever met that like leading up to him like coming around the corner and us actually laying eyes on each other. I was so nervous. I had like butterflies. I was like, had my mom on the phone. And like, that has never, I've never been nervous or like have been all giddy about some, never in my life until him. And of course, when he came around the corner, I was like, all right, come on, Jesus, come on. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah, good. yeah. And we've been together ever since. Ever since, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Time. Time. <laughs> With each other. Time. It's yeah. so, 
much going on. It's like yeah. these these days, these minutes, they get away from us. But we we yeah. enjoy all the things that we do for our children and for yeah. so many others and work and yeah. etc. But it's like yeah. sometimes getting that time for ourselves. If mm -hmm. we could just, I, I feel like honestly, like I wish we could just like freeze time, freeze time, you know, and just like put the kids on freeze and just take like five days and just go somewhere, just her and I, and everything would be known we got back. And like yeah. everything would, would be the same. Be the we same. Pick up where we left yeah, off. Yeah, we probably would sleep the whole time. Yeah, up. I was so tired. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, time. Yeah. My deepest fear is like dying a premature death without having fulfilled my purpose. Wow. I never knew that. My hair on our life, our journey, our truth. Yeah. Wow. That's why I'm so purpose driven. I never, I'm constantly in prayer about whatever my next is, no matter what season that I'm in, because I never want to miss what God wants me to do. So I'm always about, you know, what, you know, Lord, what do you have me here? What's my purpose? How do you want me to use my gifts for you in this season to bless the kingdom, to bless the people? Like whatever it is, I'm here, I'm open, I'm willing, just I don't want to miss it. Yeah. I, I use a metaphor because I'm an English major, right? Um, I think my deepest fear is living my life, navigating in deep spaces, deep water, mm -hmm. and deep calls to deep, mm -hmm. and drowning in shallow water. Mm -hmm. That's fear. Like, what does that mean? It means like, you know, you could, you know, you, you, you establish all this, you do all these extraordinary things, great things, and you end up like, you know, with a miscalculation or something that's so trivial and you look like, like a misstep in your misstep life. In Wait, your how life. did I get over here? Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm always guarded against that kind of stuff and prayerful against that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's deep. I didn't know that. Yeah, see? Yeah. I love her heart for helping Aww. people. She is so selfless. People don't know this about her. Like, she gives so much and um, I think that if you people really understood her heart, I think you really, really, really understand who she was. And I think to me, that's what I think is just, yeah, yeah. It's so amazing. that's interesting because I was gonna say the same thing about him, just in terms of his heart. And again, going back to when we first met, like mm -hmm. clearly that was the attractive factor, attracting factor for us, is that genuinely, we're good people, like at the core, right? And so for him, his heart is really about him constantly giving, giving, giving his time, his energy, you know, his resources to the world. Um, he would give until he passed out if I didn't stop him, you know? And so in terms of his heart, he has a heart for people, he has a heart for the Lord, he has a heart for chasing uh, this passion that God has placed in his spirit to continuously uh, take whatever he has in his hand to the next level, whether it's an organization, whether it's a person, whether it's the church, whether it's whatever, like no matter what it is, he is constantly pouring out and giving, 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 um, and not from a place of what can I get out of this? It's just because he has this amazing altruistic heart. Thank you, babe. You're welcome, honey. All right. So, wow, man, I really hope that uh, this has blessed you. I've learned some things about you. I know, me too. God, you know? And that's what it's about, yeah. right? It's about discovery. And that's why our relationships, you know, they, they continue to evolve. Evolve and over you learn. time, We did yeah. this in real time for you guys, right? And yeah. I think it's so important that yeah. you spend that time getting to know the Either. person that you are in relationship with. And the reality is sometimes your answer 10 years ago, five years ago, even two years ago will be different than what it is today. Yeah. We're constantly evolving, we're constantly growing and giving each other the grace and space to change our mind, to be different, to grow, to be better, to evolve. I think it's cr critically important when it comes to relationships, whether you're married or not. I agree, I agree. So hey, listen, don't forget to uh, make sure you Follow Dr. Steph, follow me right here, right here. Make sure you go to our website right here, josephwalker3.org. If you want to get our book, we have a great book called uh, 
our life, our journey, our truth. Well, that's actually no, our No, that's site. not, yeah. right? <laughs> so wait, rewind. <laughs> right here, we have a great book. Go to josephwalker3.org. You can get this book. It's called Becoming a, a Couple, Couple of, of Destiny. Destiny. And we want you to get it. It'll bless you. And uh, we appreciate you so very, very much. And thank you so much for watching today. We look forward to uh, hearing your comments. We read them all. We do. And we'd love to hear from you. Well, I'm Bishop. And I'm Dr. Steph. 